Alrighty, alrighty, what's going on, Engine Webs? Got some bad news here for the Gen 1 to 5. Engine is seized, alright? As you can see over here, I removed the uh, flywheel casing. And of course, the, how do I say, the, the gear sprocket on here and the camshaft, alright? And of course, I removed the exhaust, the carburetor, there's the carburetor over there, and the timing chain. Let's just have a look over here. If you want to ask what tools I'll be using for the job, tools. Don't ask me stupid fucking questions what tools you need for the job. If you don't ask me a question like that, you, I highly recommend that you don't go anywhere near a fucking motorcycle. All right, let's just see over here. The very first thing I did was I removed the spark plug, and the spark plug told me already what I already know. Let's just see where my spark plug is. Spark plug is over here. I don't know if you can see it over there. It's bent, so obviously something's been knocking on there. That doesn't look good. Never seen a spark plug like this before, so obviously I've seized the bloody crankshaft. All right, loosen up the four dome nuts. All right, these these little uh, nuts over here, there's four of them one, two, three, four. Timing chain, uh, timing chain tension is loose. All right, let's remove the mirror. All right, see what see what's cooking over here. And of course, I can see the valves haven't dropped, they're still in place. All right, let's just remove the barrel uh, the head. And see what's cooking over there. Alrighty, just removed the head, but this is really, really, really bad. As you can see over there, the valve is broken off. Okay. Oh hell, that's fucked. That is honestly fucked. Oh hell, look at this. Let me just get a ray quickly. Alrighty, as you can see over here, this head. I don't know. I'm. I'm very, very sure it's fucked. That valve seat over there, I don't think I'll be able to fix it. I can see the shape is totally warped out. So obviously the valve broke off over here. Let's just have a look at the bloody piston itself. Okay, that doesn't look good. Oh shit. We've got a fucking hole in here. That is not good. That is very bad. I've never seen something like this. So obviously that is the fucking valve. The exhaust valve over there. I don't even see it over there. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be a... Maybe that barrel is still fine. Let's just remove the barrel and see what the barrel looks like. So obviously, I'm very, very sure the head is fucked. Hopefully the, bar uh, the barrel is still good to go. Okay, put the video on pause. Let's remove the bloody... Uh, I don't want to say the the barrel there. Put the video on pause quickly. Yeah, all right. Let's just have a look again at the bloody head over here. You can see over there. I want to see if I can try and save it. You know, if I can't, I can't. I'll just have to bloody replace the damn thing. As you can see over here, I dropped the valve. All right, so the Conrad, oh, the, not the Conrad, the, the crankshaft does rotate, all right, so the crankshaft is good to go. But of course, the piston is fucked. And to me, this is an aftermarket gadget pin. I don't know, there's just too much play on there. I want to see if I can save this piston rings. But of course, the barrel, the barrel looks nice. Very, very good. That right, looks good. All right, just the average wear and tear on that. Okay, so this video is basically part one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Right, see you again for the next video. Thank you.